how uh, pull it together. How my videos have helped them through really rough times. People have been in the hospital. They've been in bad head spaces. Can't sleep. Whatever. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. He's got a polar pop. <laughs> they changed the uh, cup to plastic now. It was styrofoam. They used to break and leak all the time and 
piss all over me at random when I was walking up to the tail, but now we have a plastic Polar Pop cuff, so it's perfect. It's Coca-Cola. It's melted. I got it a while ago. We're on the tail ends. All right. Okay. Oh, well, hello there. It's been quite some time. <laughs> I've been MIA for a while. Um, Easter weekend, Friday through like Monday, just lots of craziness there. Um, and then personally, personal life dealings. Uh, we can maybe touch on it a bit here. I will touch on it a bit. But anyways, since I've been hitting you up with just shorts and stuff and I've been so I'm MIA, MIA on the long form content, I figured out let's break out an old classic style cook bang and that's chicken burgers today oh, i forget the frog in my throat and some o-rings um basically these are modeled after a place in toronto named cabano's comfort food c-a-b-a-n-o-s cabano's comfort food and they make some banging food if you check their instagram you'll understand why i say this but anyways i kind of modeled these uh, chicken burgers after them and uh, I'm super, super ready to dive into a bite and then we'll chat. So nice to see y'all back in the comments and whatnot. I'm sure I'll, I'll have y'all in there. All my classics, all my favorites, and maybe some newcomers. Maybe this will be the video that changes my life. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, let's uh, get the buffalo out because I'm really looking forward to this classic styling. These nice locally made buns. And I guess I'll dedicate this video to everybody who came through and helped me. It was a bunch of you. I sent personal thank yous to your emails. I said a mass thank you uh, just on video. And um, this will just be another thank you. Saved my life. Got me through a really sketchy patch. And uh, I'm for, forever in your debt and forever grateful. So anyways, yes, these type of burgers. A pepper mayo, simply crispy, perfect pickle, perfect lettuce, chicken burger. Wow. Wow, that just restored some confidence and faith in myself, which is what I've been battling, feeling like a worthless loser piece of shit. <laughs> um, depression, deep, deep, dark depression <laughs> for a while now. Um, but lately it, it ramped up, but we'll get into it. I've always suffered with anxiety and depression. It gets exhausting. Um, and there are times where it just strips you of any and all self-belief. You just feel like an imposter in life. You feel like you're not good at anything, that you'll never be good at anything. And uh, it sucks. It's rough, mentally. But uh, I try medications and I try different things, but mainly what helps is having like purpose and believing in yourself and doing things that you enjoy doing. I feel sometimes when you get hit with the dark cloud for a while, Everything seems, even the things you like to do are difficult. Existing is difficult. Everyday tasks are difficult. But I make sure, like some people just can't even get up to shower, take care of themselves. Like I make sure I always get a shower in. Hydrate. Step outside for a while just to absorb fresh air. 
and sun and things like that. Which is finally starting to be sunny here. That's good. That's good for the old mental health. But it sucks that your worst enemy is your own mind telling you that I just lost all belief in myself. Anything that I felt like I was talented, like if, say, okay, music, for example, it tells me, nah, you ain't shit. You'll never be shit. Why, why make music? You're terrible. No one around you's ever really believed in, in you, in that department. No one's really encouraged you. You've had to encourage yourself the whole time. People on here have encouraged me and said good things in the comments, and I see all that, and that's good. It just you gotta like wire your brain to to believe things like that, and then anything cooking wise, like or video wise, video production, or <clears throat> being an entertainer, being a storyteller, whatever it is, it's just all that's like just like no, no, you, no, it's not for you. You suck. <laughs> And you find yourself in self-loathing, imposter syndrome, defeat, feeling really shitty about yourself. And I'm sorry this video took the, this turn, but it's just the truth what I've been going through. You know? And also, these don't suck. These are Cavendish onion rings. My mom bought them for a like TV party thing that she threw, but... There was so much food that they didn't even get made, so I'm using them. But yeah, self-belief is a real bitch. Especially when you lose it. I've never been insanely overconfident. I've always had my skepticisms and some, somewhat of a cynical nature at times, but uh, I do really think I like, I, I just believe I, I had so much belief in myself for so long. <laughs> and then you just, you work at things, you work at things, you work at things. They don't really get anywhere significant I guess but these are my own perceived failings like in somebody else's eyes are like you're what do you mean like look at all this other success like you've had success it's just like it's your own perceived failings of yourself but in reality if you looked at it from a different lens you could see all of the things that you did succeed in that you did learn where you were um Highly capable, things like that. Like, you just have to switch your lens, but it's tough sometimes. Anyways, we got a little buffalo here. Um, but yeah, switching back to uh, Cabano's comfort food, if you look it up. You guys should know by now, that's my dream. style excuse me <laughs> excited to talk about it my dream style of like restaurant that I would that I would want to open something kind of like that things just like this really well thought out Simple foods. Simple foods, but done like to the deliciousness and everything made with such an exactitude. Is that all about y'all? 
But we as humans, we eat with our eyes first. And if it looks amazing, and then it tastes amazing, then it is amazing. I should probably look into being a food stylist for a career, something like that. And I'm spiced up. I would actually love to work in a like bo like Bon Appetit style, like a test kitchen. I think that would be really cool. Like how Brad Leone, Brad Leone, people like that. They work in test kitchen. They, test menu, they create and make things, they taste test, they take pictures, they make content. But it's all corporate, so everything's provided, you get paid to do it. The food costs are covered, everything like that. But those are places that exist in like New York, Chicago, LA, probably. So relocation would be key. <laughs> and I don't even know how you get your foot in the door with any of that stuff. Zero clue. And I'm sweating. I'm terrible at spice, but I love buffalo or chicken at the same time, you know? It's a hard battle to win. <laughs> what, a me what a mess that was, dude. Holy, a uh, delicious mess, though. All right, some final crunchy thoughts. First things first, didn't mean this for this video to bum anybody out. My return to be a bummer. But this is... A therapeutic outlet for me that's what these videos have always kind of been for me as a way to just express myself like a diary like thoughts and these help me the other thing that i know is that they help other people too i've had many messages of people telling me <clears throat> how uh Pull it together. How my videos have helped them through really rough times. People have been in the hospital, they've been in bad head spaces, can't sleep, whatever. But uh, <clears throat> I just feel like I've always kept it a hundred on my channel. Like that's the point. That was always the point of my channel, just to like be authentic. So that's authentically what's on my mind today and what I want to share and put out into the world because <clears throat> I just, I just, I don't even think it. I know it. I know a lot of people are going through it. I talk to people on Instagram, everybody's you know, fighting their own battles and they got their own cross to bear. And I think a lot of people are just, you know, they're maxed out on their capacity. They're stressed out. Life is just overwhelming. There's so much, the, the pace of society being priced out of existence, like a lot of people are. And it's just, you know, it's stressful. And a lot of people are feeling those effects day to day. And, uh, somehow, <coughs> somehow you keep digging down deep and finding strength and you keep pushing. And, uh, 
this is the truth. For the last couple of weeks, just, I was so, everything was, di everything's been difficult. Like it just, everything feels difficult. Slogging through the days. I went to the doctor. I looked into some things. Try some new meds. I'm working on, I have kind of some sleep issues, so I'm trying to remedy those. I'm getting a, uh, like a mouthpiece, like a mouth device. That, that's been financially weird to figure out, but got to get it because <laughs> having terrible sleep is also like a life ruiner. It just is. Sleep is so important. So, trying to work out some of these things with with that and get on a new regimen, new protocol and figure out some, some things that should, should help optimize and make my, make my mental feel better. Cause you get good sleep. You're already like way further ahead than if you just have terrible sleep issues. Cause not sleeping will destroy you. Not sleeping properly. I should say. Anyways, thank you to everybody who came through and basically helped me to just survive another <laughs> while in a tight spot. And um, everybody who's still watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, everything, all the stuff. Um, I still love to do this. I just, I don't know, there's just times where you're just like, I need, I need to take two weeks off. Like, I just, I can't, there's just there's something in you just like, I can't, I have, I got, I got nothing to say right now or whatever. You just get so in your head and you're like, I don't, what am I going to talk about? What video am I going to make? And it just, at sometimes you're just like, I need a break. <laughs> and then you take a break, but you make shorts in the meantime, because shorts are pretty easy to bang out and they still keep things kind of alive, right? Like they keep things going in a sense, like you, they keep your presence and it's kind of fun to toy with them to, to, to see how they are as an art form. I believe they've kind of ruined the internet, but at the same time you can garner a lot of knowledge in a very short amount of time. It's like tutorials. They just get straight to the point. It's like, that's why we're just taking in so much information all the time now, but on one hand, it's like ruining us. On the other hand, it's like, but it kind of levels you up because you can get access to really useful information very quickly. So, you know, double-edged sword, two sides to every coin. <laughs> but anyways, thank you. Appreciate all of you. Love you. Till the next one, eat good, live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.